Hello Malaysia, this is Jericho here and this is a wait a minute production. Today is the Oh fuck. Today is the 26th of no 26th of November 2013. It's a Tuesday. It's 2.30 pm and this is a food hunt at home. Tapao. Let's get on cracking. So what we have here is uh, wonton noodles from a shop in uh, Burcham in Ipoh. Uh, very cheap actually. It is three fifty for all this thing. I don't know where you can see. You know. Fuck. Uh, yep. Three fifty for two large seagulls. Very big. Uh, roughly about this. This big. Very big, two of them. This one is the sauce for the for the noodles. Here is one and a half of the big wonton noodles. Uh, noodles, the chow mein, not the regular wonton, which is uh, very small and does not like give you a lot uh, substance at all. But this one is the chow mein or the kasab or rough mi. So three fifty is quite cheap for this uh, type of meal. This is Ipo and that is in Burcham. So the location of this. Uh, Restaurant, I don't know the name. Uh, it's uh, you know that there's a new GP. That's a very big place where they have lots of lots of hawkers there. Uh, going past the GP into further into Pucham, there will be a coffee shop. I don't know which one. Uh, so if it, this tastes nice, then I have to go there and take a looky looky, so I can see the the usual wonton mean the choy some, the pickled chilies here. And uh, this is the sauce. This is a bit dry now, so put some sauce on to the noodles. And you hear that my my voice is a bit uh, a bit lacking in tone. It's because I'm pretty sick. I've been sick since yesterday and today as well. I got a flu. I'm sweating all over. I feel cold. And let's taste this one here. This uh this gravy here is for uh, to to wet it. How about the chilies? Chilies is crunchy, sweet, nice. At least my taste buds are still around. Uh, I don't know why I became sick. Maybe because of the very hot weather when I came back from uh, from Penang, very very hot, very very sunny in Penang. How about the soya? This is the soya, which is uh, what you call it? Uh, prawns and pork all uh, ground together inside this uh, piece of. Of uh, flour, as uh, taste and see. Mm. Slightly crunchy because of the what should we call it? The carrots and also the sengkuan or some kind of a uh, root. Mm. Very nice. The soup also is sweet. And nice. This meal is as, is just as good as the wonton meal in the Ming Lambu one. What's that? Where I got a free meal from that uh, Ma Taya, the twins uh, in the Ming Lambu. Excellent Chi Chong Fun, that one. Ah, that's nice also. This is also nice. So it's uh, almost similar. Mm. Some might say that. Uh, you bring the food back home, it will lose its uh, deliciousness. So, but this one is not the case. It's uh, still quite nice. Very nice indeed, and also it's only three fifty. Mm, nice. And coincidentally, uh, on in the same restaurant, there's also the assorted mixed rice for three three dishes. Or three types of uh, dishes, 
rice and three types of dish dishes. It's only three ringgit. That's very cheap. Good food is still is still able to be found in certain areas. See that uh, real detail, one sixty strike freedom. I know strike Gundam is there. I got a lot of stuff here. I haven't touched it in days because I was sick. Didn't have the time to do some videos, especially of the some stuff like say a video on my thoughts on all these things like say the MSI notebook. This is a new brochure. So of course mine is. Uh, the GX70 shitty processor in the A10 processor sucks as but still able to play games if it's not too intense but sometimes during the single player game for the Company of Heroes 2 it gets kind of choppy when it's all maxed up mm. The sickness because of the treatment not been very wet sometimes in the tent in that awesome beach. You can see the Chinese mushrooms, or oh, I think it's, it's a type of uh, a black one. You see, can you see the black one? That's the agar agar from the sea, I think. Not sure. What it's called, but you can find those in the. I think they're fungus. Yeah, fungus that's dried. Very nice, actually. It has a very distinct taste. Uh, I haven't seen the videos that I've uh, posted yet because it's taking a very long time just to po just to upload it. It's very slow in Epo, very slow. It might take three days just to upload one video. And I think I got around hundred and eighty gigabytes worth of uh, videos for my Penang hunt version 2.0 there's a lot of stuff to upload and maybe take months <sighs> and i won't be redoing much at all since i have such a big backlog of videos i'll still do some gundam hunts in uh, epo let me go to Batu Earth as well because there's not Batu Earth, sorry, Batu Gaja, some guy there. It'd be nice to see his high grade and stuff. Mm. And then there's those that uh, hobby shop in Ipoh called Neo Plamo. Go and visit the place and take a look at And also maybe do a Walk about in uh, Yekfung since uh, one of the guys said that one of the shops that I've uh, done a review on is gone. Let's see how Yekfung looks like now and maybe compare it. Compare the video that I'm gonna do of Yekfung with the Yekfung of 10 years from now. It'll be interesting to see. This is what I call a digital preservation of the historical view and ambience of certain buildings in Malaysia, comma Jericho, Malaysia. Mm, I 
like this uh, chili here. Very nice. And yesterday I finished watching the show Jobs. A biopic, a biopic on uh, Steve Jobs. Played by Ashton Kutcher who is now dating Mila's, Mila Kunis. Very pretty big eyed girl. Seems more like a Sikh or Punjabi girl. Very pretty. Ashton Kutcher was uh, was dating uh, or having a relationship, long term relationship with Bruce Willis' ex wife. Uh, I think it's Demi Moore. Yes, uh, got tired of old Fanny and prefers new Fanny. Oh, young Fanny. I must say the the movie is pretty good. Jobs that is. They portrayed Jobs as an asshole, so well, it's quite accurate in that sense. The only character that I liked is not Jobs, definitely. The character in the movie that I like is Mike Marcola, played by the I don't know who the hell that is. Reminds me of a uh, one of the characters in Dallas. Not JR, the other one. Mm. I can't wait to watch uh, Elysium, directed by the same guy who gave us District 9. It just came out on the Wi-Fi website I'll buy it and if you're a fan of a uh, of Pacific Rim not the rim job or anal lingus which is almost similar to cunnilingus but a bit dirtier in terms of shit and whatnot I have stuff that I have to do that I haven't done. Two days already been procrastinating. Didn't like uh, do the stuff. Uh, still have my new loot from uh, Penang. Uh, thank you, uh, Model Land Workshop on Jalan Magazine near the First Avenue Mall. Go oh, check it out. It's like a mini museum for awesome looking models. have my uh, oh shit I'm dressed up very I'm sweating a lot my uh, what you gonna call it perfect great strike rook is still down there in the box yeah I might as well do this one if you like uh, Pacific Rim and you want to like watch the extras do go and go into kick ass torrents and go download this one Pacific Rim 2013 extras sorry 720p blu-ray x264 uh, by public hd so it's a very good quality of uh, 720p actually you don't need 1080p this is five gigs already so it's two hours long no actually it's two and a half hours long so go and check it out download it and watch it and you see how the process is like making the pacific rim not rim job but pacific rim so and see my Altec lensing, very excellent base. I'm sweating like a pig. I have to like uh, change my cl my clothes many many times because I'm sweating a lot. I've been getting out all the what we call viruses. <laughs> oh, them too. So yeah, tons and tons of uh, stuff to do. Artwork. I have to. I have to. Ch have to like say, begin my artwork. So let's see how long it would take just for one video. Uh, da -da. Mm. As for one video, is, you can see here is 1520 minutes. <coughs> for the part 2 of Claypot Rice Restaurant Wing Lock, you want Kamba. 6 drop, 18, 6 drop. Roughly about 20 something hours. Fucking hell, just for one video. That's a lot of shit. And so far, I got 62 subscribers. Here, 61, but uh, 62 is the real number. So, I guess that's about it. 
So uh, the food there, I think it tastes pretty good. I give it an 8 stars out of uh, 10. Very nice, a lot, and also cheap. 3 ringgit 50 cents for one and a half chow mein. 2 soy gaus and delicious chilies. So see you in Malaysia, and bye bye. Hopefully I get well soon. And do like uh, download that Pacific Rim bonus from the Blu-ray. Good shit. I feel quite cold. See you in Malaysia. Bye-bye. Oh, if you like this video, like it. And if you like what I do, subscribe. Bye-bye.